When choosing your UPS solution, probably the biggest decision that you have to make is, is the batteries that are going to be used. The go-to battery for the UPS industry for the past 30, 40 years since I've been involved has been the lead acid battery, mostly because it's the most cost-effective solution that you can have. With the longer run times, we tend to go for the gel battery. Uh, with the gel battery, we have a better temporary coefficient on them. They discharge to a lower depth and we can get more cycles out of them, which is the key issue here. With load shedding in South Africa today, the gel batteries are really struggling to keep up. <clears throat> they have a lifespan of, they're designed for 10 years, but they will do between 400 and 600 cycles, which is really no good in today's times. We've moved on to the lithium battery, the LIFE PO4, so a lithium ion battery. It is not a brand new technology in batteries. It was developed probably around about 20, 25 years ago, but it has been evolving and getting better and better and it's now available to be used with an online UPS. The lithium battery is much smaller, lighter, uh, more compact, so it takes up less space, and it will give you far more life than a gel battery when being cycled. So typically with a lithium battery, you can look at a cycle life of anything from three to 6,000 cycles, depending on how, far, how deep you discharge the machine. So for a long runtime application, your best bet today is to look at one of our lithium batteries and move forward with that name that you will get a long runtime from it and you will get a long life from it. More expensive to purchase initially, but the ownership of the machine of the battery will be far less than going for a lead acid alternative. I'm Jonathan Palmer, Managing Director of PowerMac.